Hello, Romans here and welcome to another music review. I review every album from a viewpoint of a musician as I am a singer, songwriter and a bass player for my own group Yako Bay. And almost three years ago we released our debut album called Pursuits in Life. What makes it unique is that it's a heavy prog rock without guitars. Instead you have drums, bass, saxophone and keyboards. You can check out all of our music videos on my YouTube channel. <laughs> And in the description of all these videos you will find all the information about where is the record available. It's available on all digital platforms like Spotify, Tidal, Deezer, iTunes, Amazon, Bandcamp. But also in this digipack version of a CD with a very beautiful illustrated 20 pages long booklet. So in case you want one, all you need to do is contact me via an email, on Facebook or on Instagram. Or you can get one through Bandcamp as well. And today I'm going to review the new album from Wheel. Resident Human. Music review. Music review. So it's been a while since I made a review because I've been really busy working on my second album. There's like all my time really goes into that. But whenever I discover something that is worth mentioning, I'm, I'll make a review for it. And that's the case with Wheel. This is actually a band I discovered like um, six days ago. Uh, basically, they released their second album, Resident Human. I think last Friday, and I basically discovered them a day before that. So uh, they are a Finnish prog metal band, and they're relatively young, you know, relatively new band, considering that this is their second album, the first one coming out in 2019, and the first album was preceded by two EPs, but I think that they, they've been around since like 2016, 2017, which is a very short time. And based on their Spotify stats, they have like over 100,000 monthly listeners, which is amazing. Like, that's, that's really amazing. Like, for example, Fate's Warning, when they released their brilliant uh, album last year, they had like 60,000 monthly listeners at that point. And we're talking about one of the icons and legends in prog metal. And, you know, Wheel as a newcomer, I mean, they either have a lot of money or they have a very good team. So very good for them. It's, it's very nice and very rare to see new bands sort of a having this sort of a, let's say success, let's call it success. Okay, so their second album, Resident Human, as of now I've heard it nine times, so let's dive right into the review. There are seven tracks on the album, and apart from the um, instrumental closer at the end, we can basically divide the songs into two groups. There are these long tracks, ranging anywhere from 10 to 12 minutes, and then there are three shorter tracks, all of which almost exactly clocking in at around four and a half minutes. So the album opens up with Dissipating, which is one of those almost 12 minutes long songs. And I love how slowly the song is building up. It takes its time and there's a huge emphasis on the atmosphere and on the melody. I really dig this because generally this album is like very modern prog metal record, but very rarely does it get in your face metal. And yeah, I like it. Movement is a song that they shot a music video for, and this is much more of a metal song, very serious, very aggressive. Tool comparisons with this band are probably unavoidable, but I don't really see that as a problem or as anything worth criticizing because, you know, if you look at progressive metal, majority of the bands, in my opinion, seem to be the descendants of Dream Theater. They try to go that Dream Theater way, you know, very technical, very complicated, very math-oriented side of metal. But how many bands really try to follow Tool? Uh, I can't really think of many. Another badass metal song is Ascent. Are, 
but there are enough moments in this song to kind of make it breathe. There's a lot of dynamics. Another 12 minutes long song is Hyperion, if I pronounce it right. Again, it's about that atmosphere, kind of bringing Carnival to mind. I like how the song takes its time. There are almost some post-rock vibes, and I really like towards the end we've got these staccato guitars, pretty cool part. The next track, I really don't know how it's pronounced, F-U-G-U-E, it's like Fugi or Fuji or... I don't know, well, whatever. Uh, this is like a post-rock song with a little bit of a brighter atmosphere. Like, generally, I wouldn't really say that this album is, like, dark or depressive, but it's definitely more on the melancholic, serious side of things. And this track is one of those brighter moments. The title track, Resident Human, is around 10 and a half minutes long. And there's a little bit of everything in here. We've got like atmospheric stuff, heavy stuff. There's even one part that totally sounds like Tool. And the album ends with a short ambient piano-led instrumental. Old Earth. Yeah, I really enjoyed this record and if you are a Tool or Carnival fan and you want to hear something a little similar but new and fresh, definitely check these guys out. I like the variety on the record, you know, the longer tracks are quite different from the shorter ones, but at the same time the record is very cohesive and it works um, as, a, as a whole record really well. And also, you know, considering that this is like a modern sounding prog metal, at times maybe reminding me even of Tesseract a little bit, uh, this is kind of a music I would preferably listen to at night. But I don't know if it's the timing or if it's really the record, but I mean, this is a pretty great fit for like this beginning of spring, you know, like a uh, very sh uh, summer shining, summer shine, sun shining, you know, uh, very for this bright weather, you know, when the sun is shining and it's really, really beautiful outside. So yeah, go check these guys out. If you like this video and if you like the videos I'm making, consider supporting me by purchasing my debut album Persids in Life. Because I include audio samples, I usually run a risk of getting a copyright claim, meaning that I won't be able to monetize my videos and whatever money I earn goes to the author of the samples. I have no problems with that. The artists deserve all the support they can get, but these videos are very time consuming. So the best and the only way how you can support me at this point is by buying my debut album. And if you like Tool, Carnival and Wheel, I think you may like my record as well. You should give it a chance. So have you heard this album already? You can let me know in the comment section below whether you agreed or disagreed with me. If you are already a Wheel fan, you can let me know how well do you think their second album compares to their first one, maybe to their EPs as well, and which release is your favorite one. You can follow me on Facebook or on Instagram. You can find links to both in the description of this video below. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to like, to share, to subscribe. You can check out my own original music, my live performances, my worst to best series, and quite a lot of other videos as well. Thanks a lot for watching.